Hello SimRush users and welcome back to another Weekly Wisdom. Today we've got a very exciting one. Now, how many times have you seen that you're ranking for multiple things in the same search? Now, the first thing you might think is, oh, this is amazing, we've got multiple rankings showing for the same keyword, we're dominating page one, page two, whatever it is. But then you look at your traffic and it's like, oh, we're actually getting much, much less traffic. That's because of keyword cannibalization. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to find keyword cannibalization on your site and get rid of it. And it's gonna take you about 10 seconds. Let's get into it. You know, for me growing up, excess was always a little bit of a theme. When your mum would say things to you like, Ross, now don't eat too many sweets because you're ruining your appetite for dinner. Don't sit too close to the TV because you'll get squared eyes. Don't run too fast, you'll end up falling over. And then of course you become a teenager and it's like, turn that music down, it's too loud. Or get a haircut, you know, your hair's too long. Um, they give you other advice too, but which is mostly ignored. But the point being that too many opportunities create inertia in your life. So if you're in the middle of a room, imagine a circular room with lots of doors around the, co the edges and they're all open and they're pulling you all out in the different directions. Because they're all pulling you out, the, the force of each of them actually cancels each other out and creates complete inertia. And keyword cannibalization is very similar in that you've got too many URLs that rank for the same term. So what we need to do is start closing these doors, or in this case, URLs, or differentiating them. So getting them out of the index or optimizing them. So let me quickly just give you a real world example first and foremost. So a client of ours came to me and said, hey Ross, um, can you find some cannibalization or a, or a big hero term? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, no worries. I went to Google Search Console, went into Performance Report, then into Queries, I then filtered by keyword and I just clicked on Pages and boom, there you go. Sent it to the client, they were like, yep, great, thank you, no worries. Then they came back and they were like, actually, can we get it for all keywords, URLs, countries, languages and devices? I was like, oh God, yep, yeah, sure, no worries at all. And the reason why I was a bit nervous about it is because there was half a million URLs in the client's site. And the more data you've got, the harder it is to get anything meaningful from it. So we need to find some sort of programmatic way to make this happen. And to do that, we're gonna use Supermetrics, which is a Google Sheets add-on. Um, essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to pull the URL and the search query side by side. Now in the interface, it doesn't let you do that. It only lets you do it page by page or query by query, should I say. But this will actually pull out all of the duplications for you so we can really quickly see what's going on. All right, so this is what we wanna have it look like. We want the landing page, then the search query, and then all the information. And you'll notice that there's lots of duplication in the search query, and that's because, you guessed it, those keywords are cannibalized. All right, so we need to get this keyword map done. Now, before I was saying that, the client was asking me for some data on their main hero term, which is the term IPA. They're getting 81,000 people looking for it, uh, but only getting 43 clicks, which is obviously a terrible click through rate. And the reason being is because 11 URLs are competing for the exact same ranking. So what we want to do is get the raw Google Search Console data, cross-reference it with the Google Analytics data, and then we want to see what's actually going on. And ultimately, we want to get to a place like this. So I want to see the search query in column A, the count of how many queries times that query actually shows up. Then I want to see impressions because that's the relative opportunity, how much revenue that's going through those URLs that are being cannibalized. And then I want to see the actual URLs themselves. That's gonna be really important for us. Um, so we want a map like this so I can quickly jump in and say, hey, um, the term IPA, I know you, you care about IPA, you also care about ale, but IPA makes you considerably more money than ale. So let's focus on that and let's get that optimized first so I can make your business case. All right, so 
how are we going to prepare all this data? Well, first and foremost, how do we get everything in nice and neat there? So if we pulled everything through Supermetrics and we've got all URLs um, and all the duplicated queries, I need to get the original queries or in another way to say it, I need the unique queries. So I'm going to use this here It's equals unique and you're going to select the entire column where all your keywords are. And then after that, what I need to do is I need to actually go in and I actually need to count up all of the queries that are actually in there. So now I've got the uniques, I need to see how many times they're being duplicated. So nice and simple, we're going to use the count if formula, um, which allows you to select the column you want to um, compare and then the actual thing you want to be counting. And then after that, we want to get all of these URLs in. Apologies for this being so blurred out. Again, it is client data, so it is commercially sensitive. Um, I want to get all the URLs out so I can actually see per query, URL by URL, where the problems lie. To do this, we're gonna use Query. We've spoke about this before. Query is a pseudo SQL language. Um, so essentially, you can do computation um, inside of a query, which is pretty amazing. But in this case, we're going to just very simply say, select column A where B equals our keyword. So if you see my cannibalized keyword, pull in all of the URLs, really nice and simple. The exact formula I use is down there in the, the, the white bar there. So you can just copy and paste that into your sheet. Now, if you're really interested in learning more about this, I'd recommend these resources. Uh, codingisforlosers.com, phenomenal website. The guy over there does a great job with query, and he's more of an SEO guy than anything else. Um, the G Suite YouTube is phenomenal. It teaches you about natural language processing, um, about using query, all sorts of great stuff. And Ben Collins is actually like the main G Suite guy. If you Google around, you'll see him coming up everywhere. He's got tons of really great tutorials on there as well. All right, so assuming we've now got our big list of URLs and keywords next that we want to fix, did you know that you can actually upload a list of keywords and URLs side by side to the SEMrush on-page SEO checker? Well, it's gonna once you do that, it's gonna give you this output. So it does a kind of TF-IDF analysis, which stands for term frequency versus inverse document frequency. What it does is it Googles the keyword you're trying to rank for in this term. In this case, it's craft beer, and then it pulls down the top 20 results, analyzes the content they've got on the page, and then compares it to your own. So you can get some really quick and dirty optimization tactics in order to go and fix your cannibalization. It does a bunch of other interesting stuff because there's a site audit built in. Um, it's also going to be looking at things like on-page elements you need to fix. So literally, you can get this done in, what, two minutes, three minutes, and then start spitting out these reports and give it to your content team. So all that's left to do now is actually just go and fix it. And that's everything. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions about how to do any of this or if you want access to the sheets that we mentioned, please comment down below and I'd be happy to jump into the comments and have a conversation with you about it. But until next time, we'll see you later.